Now it's time to learn something more exciting, which is every web developer must learn. And that is website animation on scroll. Look how beautiful this website looks when we add animation on scroll. So I gave this project website in source folder. So you can directly practice this animation on this website. This project I created when I was working on HTML and CSS course. But I stopped that course creation for some time and just focusing on the YouTube tutorials. I open this project and run this index.html file with live server. So let's understand the logic of this animation. So when we scroll the web page, when this section will show up, then we have to display that section with animation. So here we have to perform just two steps. First, we have to identify on which point this content will show. And second, we have to add animation for that content. So the first question is how we can identify the content. So for that, we use one jQuery plugin called Waypoints. And for adding animations, we use library called animate.js. This library has almost 100 styles of animations. So our both problems is solved. Now let's see this in the code. So first of all, we have to add three CDN links for this. First one is for jQuery, then for waypoints, and then for animate.css. So first, search jQuery CDN. Open this first link, and go for this minified CDN. Copy this, and at the end of body, paste it. Now back to browser and search for waypoint cdn and open this cdn.js link. Now make sure you copy this jQuery.waypoints.js cdn link. Now after the jQuery cdn, paste this cdn link. Now again back to browser and search animate CSS. Open this first link. And in installation and usage section, you get this CDN link. Copy this and paste it in the head section. Now for writing jQuery code, we have to create one JS file. So I create one folder called JS. And in this folder, create a new file called script.js. Now let's link this file with our index.html file. So after the waypoint cdn link, we add script with source and here js slash script.js. Save this and back to script.js file. Here we add dollar document dot ready and inside this we add function. So our setup is done. Now let's see about animation. Let's say first we want to add animation on this table of content title. So in the HTML file, we have to give this element class or ID so we can select the specific element by using that. So I give here class equals to table of content title. Save this and in the script.js file, we write dollar dot table of content title dot waypoint and in that we have to pass one function which will run when this element reaches to the top of the page. Now inside this function we write code for our animation. Basically what we want to do when this element reaches to the top. So for now I just write console.log reach to top. Save this and take a look. Open console and scroll the page. See, when this title reached to the top, we get that message. So the waypoint is working. Now let's add animation for that. So on animate.css website, from here, you can select the different types of animations. And when we hover over them, then you can get the copy icon. Now here, I want this fade in left animation. 
So copy that animation class name and in script.js file we write here dollar dot table of content title dot add class and first of all we have to write here animate double underscore animated class because without that any animation will not work and after that we just paste our animation save the changes and take a look scroll this page and when this title reached to the top see we can see the animation but here is a one problem when we don't reach to the top then this title is still visible so we have to hide it first so in this styles folder open this style.css file at the end i write one comment style for animation and for class table of content title we made opacity to 0 and after that for class table of content title dot animate double underscore animated we make the opacity to 1 this is the class we added first in our add class method save this and take a look see first it is not visible then we reach to top then this animation runs now here is one last issue which is this we want to see the animation when the title reaches to half of the screen or just at the beginning to show so for that in this waypoint function we have to pass second parameter which is object and in that object we have one property called offset and in double quotes pass 50 to 80% whatever you like save this and take a look see when the title reaches to 80% to the top then this animation will run so you can see how simple it is to apply this animation now i want you to try this same animation of this three main titles pause the video and try to solve this and after that you can watch the solution So for these titles I have already give them IDs. So I duplicate this code and at the place of this class we add has intro. And here also has intro. Save this and in style.css we have to add the same style for the ID intro. So we add here comma and add intro and here also intro dot animate double underscore animated save this and take a look see we get this animation now here in the script dot js file i create one variable let offset for this offset object so cut this and paste it here now simply write here offset and here as well remove this object and add offset see now our code looks better now i don't want to bore you by showing each and every animation for this project you can try that by yourself so just real quick i add all animation for this project except this links animation because we have to add here delay for this last two links So for that delay we have to give each link unique class or id so in the html file here for list item hold alter in windows and option in mac and create multiple cursor by clicking and write class to list underscore link underscore one now press escape and change this to two and this one for three Save this and in script.js file I copy the animation of this title and at the end I paste it Now just change the selector so dot list link 1 and here also dot list link 1 
and in animation, I want fade in right. Now duplicate this code two more time and change the selectors. List link 2, list link 2 and list link 3, list link 3. Save this and in style.css file, we do the same for these three classes. Save this and take a look. Now you might ask, where is the delay? So for delay, in style.css file, we add dot list link to an animation delay to 0 0.15 second. Now duplicate this style and change for list link 3 and delay to 0 0.3 second. Save the changes and take a look. See, we get this amazing animation for each link. And by this animation, user will know there are individual links. So you can see how simple and easy it is to add animation on scrolling. Just you have to understand the logic. I hope you learned a lot from this tutorial.